All right, what's up, world? It's uh, me, Tim Harvey, my partner, Will Galloway, and uh, partner, Nick, man. Uh, we're, we're just excited. We're just excited about what's going on. Um, our partner, Nick, just closed his first deal after two years of persevering, two years of, of working this, working that, dead-end leads, um, just, just being in the streets, hustling. After two years, our boy, Nick, just closed his first deal, and we're excited about what's happening. We're excited about what he's getting ready to do. We're excited about him moving forward in his career. So man, we man, we and we excited for you, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Thanks. Um uh Nick, you know, it's it's been two years in the making. And um and I distinctly remember that day that uh Will came up to you um at the Hudson Grill and said, Yo yeah, man, we you know, I really believe in you. I remember that day. Um, it was a couple. It was about six months ago. Mm -hmm. About six months ago, no, and it was longer than that. It was it's longer than that. It's been almost a year. Ago. Okay, it's been almost a year. Okay, so so you know, you know, we came up and said, "Hey, I agree with you. I mean, I, I believe in you." And uh, tell us what what happened from then until I think it was, it was it's been less than thirty days when we all sat down together and uh, we put out a roadmap for success. And about 15 days later, you know, we're here at success. So tell us what was going on in your head between the time he said, but I believe in you, up until that time we all decided to meet up. Um, well, I won't lie, I mean, that, that moment, it really, had a, it really had a profound impact on me uh, because sometimes, I mean, a lot of times, during this two years, I have doubted myself and doubted my own abilities, even though I, I've known I can do it. Mm -hmm. um, so just having Will kind of affirm that for me, that that really that really gave me confidence. Um, and then, you know, down the road, I started to get discouraged again as well. And me, I don't know, I'm kind of... I'm kind of naturally like a hermit, a naturally introverted. So mm -hmm. some sometimes I might like fall out of touch and not, you know, stay in touch with you guys or that sort of thing. So not having that, uh, I guess, constantly uh, that constant affirmation, mm -hmm. uh, reassurance, you know, re reinstilling that belief and that confidence in me. You know, sometimes it can, you know, my efforts not. Uh, not transmuting into mm -hmm. a deal could kind of mm -hmm. get me down, um, especially after you know two years of not not getting any results. So yeah. it's that takes a man to say that too. Yeah. yeah. By the way, it takes a man to say that because most people wouldn't even say that. So yeah, I mean, big ups. Yeah, that's that's just me being honest and wearing my heart on my sleeve. But um, I'm as tempted as I was to throw in a towel many times. I'm really glad I didn't <laughs> and uh, this this day definitely makes me glad I didn't because um, I don't know I, I remember that day one one of the things that really rang in my head was that day when we spoke on the phone and you said mm -hmm. you said Nick is within you yeah I don't know if you remember that but that really had an impact on me mm -hmm. and you know sometimes like when I doubt myself I'll just remember those times that you guys gave me those words that you believed in me and I had to you know kind of replay that back in my head so that I you know actually believed in myself mm -hmm. uh, and not that I don't believe in myself but I feel like sometimes we oh all have God. those, those yes, times we, we all have those <laughs> moments <laughs> when things get hard and, right. and you, that, you know that self doubt starts to set in so um, I'm just grateful for you guys man honestly I'm grateful for you I, man I appreciate y'all um, being a part of my journey so we get to this point so I guess you know it's like okay so you know you, you had that self doubt but didn't we say we just wanted to meet him somewhere? Didn't we say we went through our partnership program? We, you know, we, you know, we've been working our partnership program, you know, with a lot of success over the past year. Um, REI Wholesalers R Us, and uh, we, you know, when we see um, potential in people, you know, like Anthony Boston who has the camera, and uh, you know Nick here, um, something in us just said, hey, we need to meet up, and it was the next day. You know, we met up at Chick Fil A, Hayville, Georgia, and uh, Will, you want to kind of tell? Yeah, I mean, we basically, I mean, we had already seen the potential in it, mm -hmm. and uh, we just um, wanted to let him know that we seen it in him, and he and he believed it, but we wanted to instill it in him. So we just set up a meeting uh, for us to meet him, the 
kind of see what it was he was doing wrong and how we can kind of correct some of his mistakes that he had been making. Uh, we put together a game plan. Uh, he was already generating leads, so it was more of just making sure that, you know, the leads that he was um, interacting with, that we were making sure that we was able to help him with those. So one particular lead, um, he he came came through um, with the Drive for Dollars campaign you did. Mm -hmm. um, he did a Drive for Dollars campaign, um, and you were pretty much, you said you were skip tracing um, addresses and got the owner's number. So we pretty much, um, the lead came through. Uh, I told him to set the appointment immediately. It was a, definitely in a hot area. Um, so we set the appointment immediately, met the seller, uh, kind of helped him kind of negotiate the deal because we wanted to make sure it didn't fall through. Um, I think at the time, the, um, the landlord, he was a tired landlord, you said that um, the tenants had just been evicted. Uh, so we negotiated with him and also I think he said something about somebody else had offered him a price and then I offered him um, I think like $500 more than what they offered him or something like that. So he accepted but uh, he had made us wait a week I think because he said something about he had promised somebody else to rent it out or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was so like four days. Yeah, it was like four days. He said well somebody else put supposed to rent the property out so he gave them enough time. They didn't respond. Then he ended up committing with us and um you know, 15 days later, you know, we here at the closing and, um, you know, now he's able to close his first deal. So, uh, I mean, the whole journey, uh, it was a couple of bumps and bruises, but, you know, God persevered and got us through it. And uh, we got to the end and got him his first check. So another key, I think what you said was, um, was um, you know, you, you said there was another, there was another offer on the table. But I think the big key was that you guys actually went out. Right. Met him, you know right. what I'm saying? Which is what we do with our program yeah. is, you know, we actually will go out and meet the seller, you know, to, you know, the double bill before. And I think that was a key was yeah. being able to go right back out to the seller, make the offer on the spot. And uh, and with that, I think he remembered it. I mean, because if you think about it, what we what we offered was only a couple dollars more than. <laughs> yeah. And I think the other offer, it was more like they was just on the phone, but it mm -hmm. wasn't nothing like. Right. Like we was able to build report. What well, Nick was able Nick to build report. report. He had already had right. report mm -hmm. when I was. Yeah. To well, to be honest, here here's what really happened because <laughs> honestly, the lady she she got there before me and it wasn't on the phone. She actually wrote oh, a okay. contract and made the offer in person before wow. before oh, I even okay. Okay. before I even called him. Wow. wow. So that. I mean, I guess that that makes it even better. Um, I would say. So was to, it that he didn't? Was it that she didn't follow up? It was, it was a combination of two things. It was just, it was honestly timing, mm -hmm. and then just the fact that I built rapport with him. But right. because what he told me was that she, when he she contacted him or basically like pulled up behind him as he was checking on the property, and mm -hmm. he found out the door was open. Mm -hmm. So he's looking around. She pulls him in behind him, writes him an off, uh, writes him a contract on the spot. Oh wow! And he didn't want to deal with it at the time because you know he was moving. Right. Um, he was move, uh, helping his mom. Right. Move. right. Timing, right. timing, timing. Yeah. So um, <laughs> it was just. I mean, he called me back like a couple days after that. She was supposed to follow up with him uh, by phone call that Friday, mm -hmm. and we got him. Uh, we got that appointment on Monday. And uh, just built a good rapport. And I guess he, he he liked us. And that's why follow up is so important. I know a lot of times people talk about marketing and they do marketing, but follow up is so important because a seller circumstances change. Yeah. Like it changed by the day, by the hour, by you know the minute. Like he said, somebody sent him an offer, which he was fine with that offer. Right. But then when Nick came at the time he came, that's when he was really ready to pull the trigger. So you know Nick built rapport with him. You know, they offered one price. We offered, you know, five hundred dollars more than what they offered, and he could have went back and forth with us and them and tried to counter back. But it was something about, you know, we built rapport to the point we made him like us, and that's one thing I specifically remember telling him, like, hey, do you like us? Right. Hey, you know, if you like us, hey, do business with us. Right. And this this business, you want to make sure that you know people are comfortable with you and they want to deal with you, mm -hmm. you know, and build rapport. And uh, he just felt comfortable with Nick. He felt comfortable with me. Um, basically coming on as an authority, you know, with Nick and as the, his funding partner. And, um, you know, once we did the deal, um, I mean, everything else kind of, you know, went from there. Uh, but, you know, we're here today um, helping, you know, Nick got his first deal closed out and we just excited. And uh, we're excited about working with you guys, everybody who um, pretty much been wanting to work with us. Um, we're looking forward to working with you guys.
Is something else you want to touch yeah, on? Yeah, um, you know, I guess the main thing is, yeah, anybody that wants to work with us, uh, we've been getting a lot of requests um, to be able to work. We got, you know, we've been overwhelmed with emails, um, mm -hmm. and we're grateful for those emails. Look forward to a call from us sometime very, very soon, very, very soon, and uh, we're just excited. Um, I'm excited for you, man, because I know that this check was more than one month's salary, right? <laughs> okay, so. Yes. The most I've ever made at once. <laughs> there you go. So, so there it is, guys. This thing really works. Um, big ups, Anthony Boston on the camera. Big ups, Hateville Chick-fil-A. <laughs> big ups, REI Wholesalers, R.S. Peace.